What is going on guys and girls? If you're new to this channel, my name is Dar Sizzle and you're watching Dar Sizzle Offshore. And in today's video, I teach you how to fillet a mahi-mahi, also known as a dolphin, and I dissect the stomach and find something super cool. Before I get into filleting this mahi-mahi, I just want to give Dar Sizzle Nation and all my subscribers a heads up on what's going on with the products that I have this year. And since this holiday season, my 2018 Dar Sizzle calendars are now available for purchase on my website, linked down in the description below. I have two different sizes of calendars, plus two different versions, a freshwater and a saltwater version. So check that out, it's a great holiday gift. And I also have my lucky fish hook bracelets, paracord hand tied by me. So guys, check it out, anchor bracelets and fish hook bracelets. We got a lot of fish today and we had a great variety of species with us and I just figured it would be perfect to go ahead and fillet this fish for y'all and just show you what I do and what works for me. But this is a solid gaffer dolphin. We call them all different names, guys. Don't freak out on me, okay? We call them mahi-mahi, we call them dolphin, we call them dorado. There's all different types of names for this fish. So don't freak out and tell me it's this, it's that. There's all different names. I'm gonna mention dolphin and mahi a lot in this video. Now, one of the first things you need before you start filleting your fish is a bucket of salt water. And I have a five gallon bucket of salt water that I actually mixed. I didn't bring ocean water with me home today, but you can use a, just a bunch of kosher salt and mix it into fresh water. And the reason behind that is it has to do with osmosis. And if I go ahead and fillet this fish and put it in fresh water to rinse it off, it's going to like, make the cells explode and it's not going to have that, that delicious taste to it as much. It's going to make that taste not as good. So I recommend whether it's fresh or salt water fish to always rinse them off in salt water. And then when you're ready to cook it, go ahead and rinse it in fresh water. All right, I'm gonna get ready to cut this fish here, guys, but I just wanted to briefly tell you about the knife products that I love. This is Bubba Blade Knives, and they make an amazing product. I've been fishing offshore for over five years now and been using these specific knives for over five years. I love them. Um, the one that is my favorite is the seven inch tapered flex. It's, I love a flexible knife to get in there and actually fillet that fish perfectly. But today I'm gonna go a little, uh, get a little bigger knife. This is a nine inch tapered flex because I have a bigger fish here. So I wanna use a bigger blade in order to nicely fillet this fish up for you guys. And I've also used my 10 inch sharpening steel already and sharpened my knife. You always wanna do that. A good sharp knife is gonna get the job done correctly. You never want a, an a dull knife. It's going to make the job a lot more tougher. Now to start filleting this fish, mahi have meat all the way up here in their head. So I like to get the initial cut pretty up high on the fish, like right here. And I'm just gonna work my knife all the way down along the backbone and get the initial cut. Just like that. And I like to always go through the tail and just get that part out of the way, just like that. Okay, and now the next step is basically I'm just gonna start working my knife. Well, first things first, let me do this. I'm gonna make a cut right here behind this fin um, and that way the, the, the fillet is gonna come off the fish perfectly once I'm done going across the whole fish. But you see, I'm just cutting at an angle and working my knife right along where all this meat is on his head. So now I've got a nice cut. Now I'm going to go ahead, let me just make sure that's cut there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just lift with my finger and work the knife along the body, along the bones, and just work it down to their spine, just like that. And you don't really wanna you know, saw back and forth. You just want to make nice long strokes. And with a sharp knife, this is going to be perfect. When you get to the spine, the spine comes up a bit higher than the actual, the rest of the fillet here. So you kind of have to work your knife around the spine, like I am right here, and just go at like a 45 degree angle to get around that whole spine there. But you see how I just did that? And then you got to work your knife back in down low, and that's where the, this flex knife comes in. And I can really get on those bones and just get that fillet right off. Just like that. Now the fish also has a bunch of pin bones and the pin bones are fairly close to the stomach area right in here. And m most of, basically majority of all fish have pin bones in their body. So you're gonna have to break the pin bones with your knife just like that. Sure this is clear. Okay. Just a 
couple more pin bones right here. And sorry guys, I'm left-handed, so I'm sorry if this looks weird, but for all other left-handed people out there, this probably looks normal to you. And then once you get through those pin bones, there's actually rib, like rib cage bones right here that I like to leave on the actual fish. If you end up filleting it off, it's no big deal. You can end up just go ahead and cut those, those bones off once you're done with your fillet. But I also want to tell you, I like to leave the stomach and the intestines intact, just like this fish is here, because you don't want any of the stomach juices or any of the intestines on your actual fish. That's a big no-no. Um, so that's a clean fillet and it's perfect. All right, now it's time to do the other side. And guys, this is what works for me. So don't go ahead and criticize me about leaving the fillets on both sides. It, this works. So I'm just showing you my method. Now it's time to skin my fillets, and then we're gonna rinse them in the salt water, and then we're gonna see what's inside the belly of the mahi-mahi. Now I've got both of my fillets all rinsed off, ready to go. I've rinsed off my knife too, because I don't want the, the actual scales, you know, going on the fish here. But there's a couple ways to do this. I know some guys actually will like, initially make a cut right here, and then they'll take their knife or their fingers and they'll just start ripping the skin off. And that's a great way to do it. I mean, it comes right off, but unfortunately it leaves like a crisscross membrane on the actual filet. And to me, that doesn't taste that great. And I want, you know, a delicious uh, fish filet. So I prefer to go ahead and just take it off with the knife. Actually ripping it off does not take that membrane off, but with the knife, it does. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. And this takes a little bit of practice, but anyone can do this. This is pretty easy. You just this is the tail here, so I'm going to hold on close. And you want to have the fillet fairly close to you so you have leverage to actually you know, go back and forth and cut this fish, the skin off. So make your cut at a 45 degree angle like that. And then I'm just going to grip it real good with my fingers and hold it tight so it doesn't really move. And I'm just going to work the knife at a 45 degree angle along the skin here. And you see it's taking the membrane right off and the membrane stays on the skin. And you can see it too, I'm working my hand underneath as I go along because eventually once you get out here and your hand's over here, this thing is going to be, you know, going back and forth. It's not going to be straight for you. So I like to go under and just follow it along. There we go. Nice fillet. Okay, fish are filleted. And you can see this is the back side where the skin was. On this side, you can't really see their bloodline, but on the skin side, you can really see it. And some fish have a thicker bloodline, other fish have a thinner bloodline. Um, so it really just depends on the fish, but I like to remove it. I don't like to eat it. You know, that's what I prefer. You can do whatever you want, but um, this is gonna be a really bloody, uh, fishy taste to it for sure. And how I do it is, flipped over on the side where the skin was, I'm just gonna work the knife along the edge, just like you're cutting a sheet of paper or something along the dotted line, just like that. And then I go to the other side and do the same exact thing and the bloodline will come right out. There we go. And all those pieces are out now, perfect. And then you also just wanna double check and make sure there's no bones in here. Occasionally some of those pin bones will get stuck or in your fillet and I can feel them. You can feel them, they're really hard and you know, it feels like a bone. So I'm just gonna kinda cut that piece out right there. Seems good to go. And then over here I do feel some bones as well from the pin bones, so I'm just gonna cut those out. There we go. And that's a little bit of like the stomach lining. I don't want that either, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then just stick them up and they're gonna be ready for some fish tacos. Love mahi fish tacos, so delicious. And then they're going back in the salt water. And then as soon as they're done in the salt water and I clean them off with my hands, I'm just gonna put them in a Ziploc bag and then rinse them in salt water when we're ready to cook them. Okay guys, now we got our mahi carcass over here. Pretty excited. I, I don't know, I like to, to um, dissect fish and it's really interesting to me. I don't know, sorry, but be warned, you're gonna see this, this fish's stomach. So um, if you can't handle that, stop watching now. 
but it's really cool and I know there's bait in this fish actually. I can feel it in the stomach. I'm gonna go on this side because there's less skin. But basically I'm just gonna go ahead and open this piece up where I left all these bones. And you really can see their insides. Just like that. Now, there's the intestines and everything in here. There's all different colors and funky looking and stuff. But this is the stomach. And I can tell it's the basically the largest organ. And he's got a lot of stuff in his stomach. So it expands. And it's basically the biggest one. So when you see the stomach, it's usually the biggest um, intestine inside the fish. So let's go ahead and just go ahead and open this up right here. This is full of fish. I have no idea what's in here. But I'm just going to make a cut and kind of just squeeze it out. See what it is. Wow, flying fish, check that out. This was a hungry fish, guys. And he ate one of our ballyhoo lures, actually. Wow, that was a big flying fish. Incredible, he probably ate this today, the same day we caught him. And this is how fast it um, actually gets digested in his stomach. But it's a flying fish, because I can tell, look at that. That's the actual wings of the flying fish. So cool. So they're chasing flyers all over the place, and we saw a ton of flyers offshore fishing today. So his, his skin and everything is gone. It looks like he probably tore them in half and then ate the two pieces. But big flying fish in the belly of the mahi. That is so cool. That was such a super cool find, and that's why I always open up the fish's stomach, because you really never know what they're eating, and it's going to help you become a better fisherman and find out what they're actually eating and then use that in the future as bait. So that was really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want information on the, the knives and the products that I use, link down in the description below. Check that out. And I also have another video as well on filleting a mahi-mahi I did last year, and you can check out that video in the video description as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you as always. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, and until my next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching. And um, the fish is actually going to be tasty, much tastier. Damn it.